All right, what's up YouTube? I'm just going to be showing you in this video one piece of software that I'm a big fan of. It's called Newsboat. Newsboat is a command line RSS feed reader. Um, you can use it for, you know, typically RSS feeds are used like for blogs, you know, for keeping up with uh, like news websites, whatever. Um, but personally, I don't really tend to like be reading every single article that some of these magazines that I'm subscribed to here are putting out. Like I think that the general way people come across like written content is, you know, in the, in some cases people follow people directly and will like read everything they put out. And maybe I I would be doing more of that if I subscribe to more like personal blogs, but. Generally, when it comes to like you know something like uh, the LRB, like you're not really unless you're subscribed, you're not really reading every single thing that they put out. You're more like um, coming across articles uh, like you know on a kind of word of mouth basis, where like maybe you are interested in the topic, or maybe you know the author, maybe it was recommended by somebody on uh, social media or whatever, or is sent to you directly. But people don't generally tend to just like read every single thing that these magazines are putting out. It's, and I'm not any different. So I don't really use it, this program too much for like magazines, for written content. I use it more for podcasts, which again is like pretty niche interest because I believe that most people have like um, smartphones which are able to subscribe to podcasts directly but uh, for me I use an iPod touch still so I'm um, moving like mp3 files directly from my computer to the uh, mp3 player and this program is very good for that and I think that um, in general it's it's much better to be using this type of software over uh, like these these corporatized like billion dollar platforms like YouTube or whatever like you, you can use this to subscribe to um, YouTube channels as well as podcasts and you can watch videos directly from your command line um, but uh, this is a much better way to do it than uh, you know actually like going into, I just, I'm just going to like demonstrate how to do that. So I'm going to go to a uh, YouTube channel on a concealed tab. I'll just click this channel here, close it. I'll go into the URLs file and then I'll just add it here. And then if we go back here and open it up again, and it should show, eventually it will get to this one. But uh, I think it is much better to be using this type of software over, I don't know why it's not adding. I have not actually used it for YouTube because I don't really watch too many YouTube videos, but uh, you know, like these kind of tech platforms, like they, they integrate algorithms into the platform itself and like the way that the platforms are designed is very, um, like it's all just trying to generate more profit for the company, right? So I think it's really a good idea to like avoid those platforms as much as possible and you know if you if you want to consume some kind of content then you should be able to get it directly um, without like the intermediary of these kind of platforms which are very suspect which are they're very bad for your health um, so this this piece of software is a good way to do that you know you can it has a lot of configuration options you can like completely redesign how this uh, screen looks here you can use it to, you can filter the content in a lot of different ways. It comes with this other piece of software called Podboat, which is the actual downloader. Um, but it's from here that you actually like uh, would download each file. <clears throat> and it 
can show it'll show you the uh, you know how big the file is, the percentage, whatever, and it all gets saved in uh, you know it gets saved wherever you want. But I save mine here, and then if I go into the actual folder, then it will show you like each file is saved uh, according to the uh, date that the episode was released, but you know, I think it's a good way to um, like uh, get some power back from these tech companies which are like monopolizing the internet and you know, like corralling uh, users into the into their like uh, channels which they can, you know, more use to like more deeply control how you think and you know, generate profit off of your attention and you know, get you locked into these kind of ruts that people get locked into, where, uh, you know, famously, like, just, like, letting the YouTube algorithm autoplay videos will, like, statistically lead you to, like, extremist content over, you know, just a few hours of watching. Um, but, you know, th this way you're able to actually, like, have some agency over what you're consuming and just not, not consume so frivolously, but rather actually, like, uh, you know, watch media with intention rather than with, like, this kind of reckless abandon. And, uh, you know, it, it might look weird. I realize that I'm, I'm talking about, like, this command line software without much uh, context on this channel. So, uh, sorry, I'm going to... Um So there's not much context for what I'm talking about here, but um, command line is a way to, it's just a way to like interact more directly with your computer. Um, it's something, I mean, you're most likely using Windows or something. I can't really speak too much that you really should be using Linux. I'll make a video on that pretty soon about why you should be using Linux, but uh, basically this is like the config file for the piece of software that I was just using called Newsboat, and you know, you set various options here, like uh, this is the macro that I have set to open um, <clears throat> uh, like audio and video in a, so you can stream it directly without downloading it from within the Newsboat program, so the macro is M. So all I have to do is go into the software and then if I go to Hollywood Handbook and I press comma, which is the macro key binding, and then M, then it will open up eventually. Uh, anyway, but uh, it's a good, it's a good um, piece of software if you are not already, uh, if you are already using Linux and you have some familiarity with the command line, then I highly recommend that you get on this and, you know, stop subjecting yourself to these kind of platforms where, uh, you know, your mind is essentially being controlled and, uh, you know, like, uh, use, use some more intention when you're using the internet. But, uh, if you have any questions about my config, it's pretty janky, which is why I'm not, um, uploading it and like going much into detail about what it is and it's like the kind of options that I'm using but uh, if you have any particular questions just let me know and you know I can do my best to answer how to set it up whatever but uh, yeah I guess I'll leave it off there